IBM bought the weather company in 2015, and today the tech giant is announcing a major new development that will marry a big supercomputer and big data and perhaps change weather forecasting the world over. Senior economics reporter Steve Leisman visited IBM's newest supercomputer in Raleigh, North Carolina. In developed countries like the United States, our smartphones warn us of looming storms, bitter cold, or searing heat. But billions of people around the globe lack even basic weather forecasts, making the world a much more chaotic and dangerous place. But in an historic marriage of big data and supercomputing, IBM is launching Graph Today, the global high-resolution atmospheric forecasting model. IBM says Graph will provide accurate weather forecasts, not for a few places around the world, but for the entire world. What you're hearing is the sound of Deus, the IBM supercomputer that runs its new global weather model. It's named after an ancient god who ruled the daytime sky. It consists of nine cabinets that has 84 nodes in it. It outputs 12 trillion pieces of weather data every day for 26 million locations around the world. The supercomputer is so fast, this massive model provides new forecasts every hour instead of every six hours. We're actually getting down to kind of the cellular level of the thunderstorms now where we weren't able to do that before. And with that information, we can now provide better support to critical decision makers. It's big potential business because big companies increasingly need accurate weather data. Any business that doesn't have a weather strategy is missing out on returns. All is tied to your environment uh, and the weather. Being able to predict that in advance for retailers, energy companies, travel and transportation businesses is all we do. Better international weather forecasts can mean more comfortable flights for passengers who are routed around turbulence and even shorter flights. And if we can do a more fuel efficient flight, um, we, we can certainly save money on fuel. There's just a variety of ways that operating on time and efficient manner improves the American bottom line. So much cool tech in that supercomputer. Among them, they have GPUs, graphic processing units, instead of CPUs, which you use for video games. But no matter how good the tech, a new weather model has to prove itself over time. Americans going to wait several months before relying on it, and then only along with all its other data. IBM is going to continuously upgrade the model. So it's going to add real-time weather data from airplanes and even smartphones, which, with permission, they can give temperature data and pressure data from around the world. And that's really the key to predicting the future, is having a lot of real-time inputs about what's happening right now. You know, it, it's interesting. This is almost private industry kind of stepping up to fix some of the problems right. that we failed to fix with infrastructure as a nation. Because when you look at um, the time it takes to do this, the GPS system, the navigation system that we've built in for airplanes has made it so that you you have to pad in at this point some time for delays. Exactly. Because, because you can only get so close. If they can get better by fixing some of the ways that they route right. around it. Well, let me just first point out this is a public-private partnership with the National uh, Center for Atmospheric Research. So that's a big part good, of it. Good. They did partner with academia, and this is one of the great things to come from that. Mm -hmm. But you're absolutely right. Um, we need to have much better tech uh, in order to... to it's something the airlines have been saying for a long time. On I, time. I, I, I wrote a column about it for Fortune probably eight years ago But it's also cool longer. because, like, farmers in India can mm -hmm. figure out, is today a good day to plant the crop or not? Huh. You, you go overseas, and you look at your thing, where's my weather? And you're so used to in America, is it, is it, I know a storm's coming in two minutes or not. If you Overseas, think it is eventually deducible, I, I don't know. I mean, there's ca <laughs> chaos theory, right, it, with weather. That's a big deal. And uh, are, can this new computer, this new quantum computer, can you do chaos theory and figure out chaos theory so, on a quantum computer? So, Joe, the reason I'm into this is not only am I a weather geek, but I have this abiding interest in understanding how well we can forecast the future. The horizon on this model is 15 hours. Yeah. <laughs> the good horizon in weather forecasting today is about three to five days. And by the way, wow. it is multiples more accurate than it was Wait even five or ten years ago. You see how they track those storms, right? right? You can't tell me about 2100. But I don't. A year? Yeah, I know where you're going with this, no, Joe. I'm not. I know no, where I'm you're not. going. No, I'm you not. Do I'm make not a going there. I'm not from going there. From meteorology no, to climatology, no, 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 and that's no, no, different. I'm not going stuff. there. Can I just say, it's just very difficult. Yeah, it we is. can agree. <laughs> Can I just say, I, I think there's a reason you're a weather geek. It's because you're a fisherman, too, right? Well, that's... You need to know the weather before I think you go it's out weird. in your it, it's, boat it's, on It's allowed me to fish, sound. and when they said I couldn't, 
and it right. saved my life when it's uh, when, when it I looked think like it's it weird was nice and someone clear. who loves economics actually appreciates a physical science so, that actually has Joe, true experimental validation. Every one of your jokes is a kernel of wisdom, <laughs> and I will tell you the kernel of wisdom That's that I find joke. in that. That's not a well, joke. Well, it's a mocking, whatever you want to call no, it. No, you do like <laughs> actual rigorous Love it. I love physics. I love Which never rigorous. comes into play in the dismal science of economics, because it's all about human nature. It, it, it is. It is. But let me just tell you. Let me, let me just make this you point. You be a psychiatrist. I'm on this little crusade here. The way oh, no. to fix economics is much more big data it. input. We need to know more about what's happening now. What has to happen is the economics world, the financial world, needs to follow the model that the weather has put forward to us, which is this supercomputer is taking pressure data, Quantum wind data, data temperature Quantum. data, all over the world, putting it into a model and telling right. us what's going to happen. We don't have that in economics.